Secretary Gates came to me and said, uh, I want to talk to Sherry, you and Sherry, about the challenge of post 9-11 veterans coming home uh, a million plus in the next few years. This is going back two years ago. And uh, these people are coming home not only without a parade, but a lack of understanding from the American people because less than 1% of the American people basically have had any skin in the game in the people who have worn the cloth of the nation in Iraq and Afghanistan. Because 99% of the American people have not been directly involved in who has served. And so when Secretary Gates sat down with Sherry and I and explained all this to us, I immediately said to Sherry uh, and to Daniel, who runs the foundation with Sherry, I think there's an opportunity to create a second plank, a second foundational focus. And in fact, we began to see some threads of uh, not ex exactly the same, but they mirrored each other in a way. These kids who were not in school and not in work and didn't have a chance, misunderstood, of great value to our society, great resources, and great fantastic people. Uh, and then post-9-11 veterans who needed a transition. And don't know how to apply for a job. No. no. And, and My, fact, many of them have never had a job in civilian yeah. life. And, and Sherry and I sat in a focus group, and she tell the story as well, where uh, we were trying to, we were visiting bases and we were sitting down with veterans who were transitioning out. Uh, and like everything else, we really did our homework and due diligence and tried to understand all this. We were in a focus group and a young so uh, soldier stood up and said, and we couldn't believe these words. He said, I, I have more anxiety about going to a job interview than I have to go back to Iraq. And do a, another, another deployment. deployment. And we heard that, we said, did he just say that? And, and I think that was the impetus to say, we, we have to do something. And so I'll let Sherry pick it up from here, but basically 